We're back, kind of late start. Um, this guy gets so fucking antsy, he just starts popping hoods and stuff. So, go. <laughs> wakes up late and then he's pumped and antsy. So, that makes a bunch of sense. Anyways, still got all these vinyls off. Now we're gonna put the goo gun on the affected areas. We're gonna wait it, let it soak. Scrub the crap out of it, try to get it off. It's gonna come off, it's not like it's not. But anyway, we're gonna do that. Pull out the old cutting wheel, get some sauce, sauce it up, smack the whole thing, make it look brand freaking new. Also, we're gonna try to black this out and do the little hood vent things if you remember those, so. All right, here we go. We got this on here. If you haven't used Google on yourself and you want to give it a shot, you know, get some like silly film off or some bugs or some nonsense. It goes sparingly, so I just left a little part here. You just spray a little bit, it spreads really easy. So you just you can spread it down the whole area you want to. No trouble. This stuff goes a long way. And you just let it sit on it. Rub it in a little bit. Get it on the whole area. Right here, I got some right here for the circles. But I'm gonna do small sections at a time. Just so I don't gotta rush around. We're gonna do the whole front over the side. We're gonna do the side of the car. And then we're gonna do the back half of the car. Should go well. See how it goes. I'm gonna tell you the reason you all need to keep your newspaper, you know? Cause you run into situations like this, you gotta paint, you know? You gotta get that custom grill. And your newspaper, it just does the trick. You just slap it on there, throw some blue tape down, no overspray, check. But also we're too lazy to take the grill out, so. But that's besides the point. We're just, we just did it right. Let's get the first coat on. All the red's basically gone. A couple more coats. She's gonna look so good, can't even tell. We did the vents too. She's about to look like a brand new girl. You know what I'm talking about? Like, ah, tss. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Keep your newspaper. Coming in handy one day. Coronavirus! <coughs> <laughs> Painted the last time. All nice and black. Color matched. Hood vents are gonna match as well. She's coming together pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta get this newspaper off, give it a couple hours to dry, then we'll pull it out, wash it, and then, oh my bad. What am I doing with my life? Just safety first, this is ridiculous. I could've got something in my eyes. I'm just, it's very immature of me not, not to have these on. It's like, Anyways, get it outside, wash it, bring it back in, cut buff, we're gonna be done. She's gonna be beautiful. I forgot to show y'all, my brother tore this thing up. I mean, we gotta take it apart anyways to rebuild it. We're gonna put a bigger kit on it and... Get some new, not completely bent, 
forks on it, you know, maybe some wheels, who knows. Suspension, blah, blah, blah. Make it a little cool pit bike. All right, wet sanding 101. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna have your friend go to the store and buy some extremely high number sandpaper that you don't know what means. And then you're just gonna get your car wet and listen to your dog yell. And then you're just gonna wipe it. And just wipe the crap out of it. And wherever it's tough, you know, get a little of that action, you'll, you'll feel it. You know, you know what you're doing. And then if you don't stop and feel it and look at it at a real, real sharp angle like this, you're not doing it right. So just keep doing that. And uh, and then eventually your car is going to look really dull and you're going to feel like you didn't do anything. But that's wet sanding. All right, thanks. Halfway probably through wet sanding. Pretty tiring. My dog loves the water, so he yells a lot. But it's going pretty good. I mean... That's a lot of work, but man, is it gonna just make this thing pop once we get it all buffed and stuff. It's looking pretty mean though, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna get back at it, see where it is when we're done. Turns out, we ran out of sandpaper, so, and it's taking a minute, um, but we only have like a couple more stripes to work on. So it's getting kind of late. We're gonna wrap it up. We're both pretty tired. We can try to get up real early in the morning so we can beat the sun. Sand the rest of the shit, get it cut, try to make this baby look so good. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. All right, day three, three. This is the day we finish. We got a little bit more sand. We're just gonna jump right into it. But also, all my shop shorts were dirty, so I did, you know, the same thing. Boom, pow. Cause everybody has tons of jeans. Now I got tons of jeans and shorts, so <laughs> freaking. Well, we're done wet sanding. About all that Corey and I are gonna do. And they have to leave today anyway, so we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna wash it, let it dry. Buff it up. Ooh, it's getting pretty wet out there, so. Boom. Busted the old huck fins out, and. Always gotta hydrate. I know it's not noon. Judging. Anyways, we're gonna wash it up, cut it, buff it, see how it goes. So we're gonna start cutting. If you never cut before, this is what you wanna do. You wanna get your, instead of just spraying it everywhere, you gotta, you gotta make a little circle. Oh, pooping like ketchup. And some people wear gloves, but I just don't give a hoot. You're gonna knead it in the pad. You gotta, it's gotta soak it up. This way it ain't so dang dry when you're out there just ripping on it. 
you do that, and you can put three little dots on it. One there, one there. Oh, Jesus. There's a little bit too much sauce. But we'll spread it out, so no worries. An extra sauce on there. And then we'll just... You know what, we'll start up here. We'll just boop, boop. See where this goes, this is a little hefty, but we'll start out on a low setting. Two, just kind of work it all in. Let it sit for a second. We're gonna brush it off, wipe it off with a microfiber. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do the whole freaking car. And then we're gonna do it again. We got the full buff pad on. We're gonna take the sauce, you know how it goes. <clears throat> you know what would help? There's probably a cap on here. Oh, look at that, oh yeah. Jesus. If you want to do it yourself, just don't spare yourself the time and just pay somebody to do it because it took three days and we're, we're all so tired and he still has to drive home and all that nonsense, but hey, it looks good, so. I right, we pulled this bad mamma jam outside. Ooh. Mm. It is. It's so dark I can't even see the front end of it. And it's almost, it's like darker than Zeus. <laughs> but it looks a lot meaner than it did. That's what we were shooting for, so. Mission accomplished. Blacked out. It's going to get tinted in a little bit. Um, the brothers are out of here. They're leaving. Sad, sad, but goddamn, does that thing look dope. Scooey! Hey, yeah, Zeus, we get it. I hit it out. Pew, pew, pew. There they go. Later. That thing looks sick now. It's badass. Alright, that was it. That's a wrap. You got anything else? You got any advice? Anything that we could have done better? Please let me know because that was ridiculously hard and uh, I would love, you know, for it to be a little bit smoother next time. And 
Zeus is impatient, so it, if we save time for him, that's cool too. Anyways, yeah, let me know. Comment down below. And in any other words, make sure safety first, most important rule. And uh, I'll see y'all kick cats later. Peace.